Hey guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you how my involuntary deportation led me into working EMS. And who deported me? Not the United States government, because I was born and raised in the United States, but my mother. One of the typical things that Dominicans do is that when their kids start acting out, is they basically deport their kids over to their country of origin. And I'm sure there's other countries that do the same thing where they basically send you back home so you could appreciate life. Usually back home is a third world country. In my case, my mom did the same thing. And at first, it was a really bad idea because there's a lot of, there's less laws in the Dominican Republic. And there's a lot more liberty while I was there. So, you know, when I got there, I was very rebellious and I very, I made it very clear to the locals that I'm from out of town and that I thought I was tougher than they were. So while I was in the Dominican Republic on the Christmas day, on Christmas day, I was riding around the neighborhood at three in the morning, somebody stopped me. Long story short, they started shooting at me and almost killed me, but I got away. The weeks following that, I was trying to figure out who it was, eventually did, and I was talking to my, what I thought were friends at that time, on how we could get payback for this situation. And we had it all planned out, but eventually God touched me and helped me snap out of it, and no retaliation was done. And I thought to myself, because I was illuminated I gotta get out of here I gotta stop living the life that I'm living what can I do when I get out of the Dominican Republic and go back to New York to be able to have some kind of job security and get a city job because where I'm from if you have a big screen TV and a steady job then you made it that's the hood's definition of success and I thought to myself essential workers that's definitely uh that definitely provides a city job police officer was one of the options but immediately was disqualified because at that present time police officers were not my best friends then i thought firefighter and that was also disqualified because i thought to myself i'm not crazy about running into a fire and then the other option was become an EMT. And I entertained the idea, got back to the United States eventually <clears throat> after my mother saw a difference in me. And the first thing I did when I got here was I started working at McDonald's, got a job as an EMT. And that's why in this video, I say becoming and working as an EMT is one of the ways out the hood so in this video this is basically the origin of how i got into ems all right guys i hope you get something from this i hope this helps peace